name is Joyce Raimondo. I'm an artist and an author, and we're gonna make art together today. Today's project is one of my favorites. We're gonna make a creature, and we're gonna make it out of recycled junk. Do you know what a creature is? A creature is an animal or a living being. It can be real, like a turkey or a giraffe or a dog, or it could be make-believe, like a dragon, or Pegasus, or even a unicorn. Those are called mythical creatures. Now, boys and girls, I thought it would be fun today to make a make-believe creature, and we're gonna use recycled stuff that you can find around the house. What does it mean to recycle? When you recycle, you reuse something. You probably already knew that. So these are the supplies you're gonna need. You will need one large, box and a smaller box could come in handy and some cardboard rolls that would come in handy and if you have some scrap papers laying around you can decorate your creature with scrap papers and gather up some junk you can use to decorate the creature you might have some old ribbon laying around you may have wrapping paper or beads and pipe cleaners and bottle caps. Anything you want to find to use for your project is great. And then to attach it all together, we are going to use tape and glue. And of course, it will also be handy to have a pair of scissors. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for you while you gather your supplies. You can turn the video off and then start it when you're ready to create. Okay, boys and girls, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the creature's body. And I like to use a large box for that. And I am going to seal the box so that this doesn't pop open with some tape. And next, I'm going to decorate the box because doesn't it look a little plain? Now you know, boys and girls, animals and creatures sometimes have different kinds of skin or fur. Some animals have spots, some animals have stripes. So I'm gonna look through my papers and see if there's any papers that I can use to decorate this box and make it look a little more like an animal. So here's my tray, and some of these are wrapping papers and newspaper, all sorts of junk. Hmm. What can I use? This looks good. This is actually stripe paper, so that'll really, really look nice. So when you are gluing your items to the creature, don't put the glue on this cardboard box. Always put the glue on the item that you're gluing. This way you'll know exactly where it goes. Okay, so now I'm gonna put that right here. Mm-hmm, that looks good. And now I have this empty spot I'm gonna put there too. And I am going to decorate the entire box. creature has some stripes and patterns and some skin. Next, I want you to find something you can add to your creature for the legs. So I'm going to look in my box here. I like to collect all sorts of recycled junk. Let's see, what do I have in the box? Hmm, how about these cardboard rolls? Those will come in handy. Now, how many legs will your creature have? My creature is going to have one, two, three, four, five, six legs. Now you might think most animals that you think of have four legs, but this is make-believe. And of course there are many, many animals, especially insects that have many, many, many legs. You can't just take the glue and put it on the uh, cardboard roll. It will fall off. 
So this part, I want you to use tape. I'm using masking tape. So I'm going to take my tape and put it on one side and then place the toy, the cardboard roll, see? And then of course I'm going to need another piece of tape. That's two. I want you to stop and start the video whenever you're ready to go to the next step because sometimes you'll notice I'm gonna speed the video up, but you might need more time to put. Let's see if he's strong with his six legs. Does he stand? Yeah, thumbs up, that's looking good. Of course, boys and girls, if you want to, you can also um, decorate these cardboard rolls and cover those with wrapping paper or other kinds of paper as well. So, what does your creature need next? Hmm, I know, I'm gonna add a head. You can look through your junk and see what you have. You might have a bottle, you might have a box. I happen to have this nice tissue paper box and I don't even have to cover it because it already looks nice. Does the head go in the middle? And does it go on the end? I think I'm gonna put it on the end because this way it'll look a little more like an animal. So I'm gonna put one piece of tape there. If an adult is helping you, you can ask the grown-up to use a hot glue gun and that's a really strong glue, but only adults can use that. So. Let me put another piece on this side. And when you put the tape on, press so that it really, really sticks, right? And you wanna kind of flatten it out like that. Hmm, uh-oh, I forgot this part. Let me put another little decorative paper over there. What did you use for your head? This is fun. I think he looks cute. Girls, what does my creature need? What does your creature at home need? Hmm, of course he needs a face. Now this is where you can really get creative. He's a make-believe creature, so you can make as many eyes as you want. You can make one, you can make three, you can also make ten. I think I'm going to use some scrap papers because they're easy to glue. And I'm gonna pick a color that stands out nicely on my blue, uh, like black. And I'm going to make, give my creature three eyes. One, two, There's one eye, two, hmm, where should I put this one? Hmm, I'm gonna squeeze it in right over there. So my creature has three eyes and a blue head. What, how many eyes does your creature have? Now, what does my creature need next? A nose, of course. So I'm gonna show you a way that you can actually make the nose out of paper, but you can make it pop out. I'm gonna cut a strip, see? And watch what I do. I'm gonna fold it once, twice, three times. Three times I folded it, and then I'm gonna take these two ends and put them together and it makes a little triangle. And then I'm gonna glue that piece together. You see, I'm gonna put a little glue here and I'm gonna glue it together. And now I am going to put some tape on there and I'm going to tape the nose on 
If you have a strong glue, you could also glue it on. Ah, oh, so how does he look so far? Cute. And he's got a nose that actually pops out. And now, of course, he needs a mouth. Should I make teeth in the mouth? Yeah, I think I will. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my paper and I'm gonna give him some pointy teeth so he could chew. So I'm gonna go up and down, up and down, up and down. See? And then I have a zigzag and it looks a little like teeth. And I'm gonna glue that on too. Now, what does my creature need? Hmm, ears. Ears are fun, boys and girls, because there's so many different types of ears that creatures have. Some creatures, like elephants, have big floppy ears. Some dogs have tiny pointy ears. You can make three ears even if you want. So let me see what I have in my scrap paper here. Hmm, I have this nice light blue paper. And to make my life easier, I'm gonna fold it in half so I can cut two ears at the same time. See how it's folded? And now I'm gonna cut a shape. See? And how many ears did I get? I got two because I had my paper double. And then I'm gonna put a little tab by folding this, you see? I'm only going to put the glue or the tape right there. Here's one ear. And here's two ears. He's funny looking, but I think he's kind of cute. What kind of ears did you put on your creature? I like these ears because they even flap. But some animals have special features. They might have antlers or horns or even like a horse has hair coming out of its head, or a lion has a mane. So I want you to think about what can you put on the head that's a special feature that only your creature has. Hmm, let me think. I know, I'm gonna give my creature a horn. Watch this, watch how I can take my paper and I can make it pop up, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I am going to start with a rectangle, see? And then I am going to roll it like that to make almost like a cone. Like you see, it's sort of like an ice cream cone. So roll it around and then I'm gonna tape it together. See, so now it won't come apart. But I can't really glue this because it'll just fall. So I am going to squish it together just a little bit and then I'm going to cut this pointy part off so I have a nice cone. Do you see the cone? And now I can tape that on the head. It also looks a little like a party hat. I didn't realize that. But that's my animal's horn. I can't decide if my creature is cute or just kind of funny looking. So there's a piece of tape. And I'm gonna put one little piece right here and one little piece here. I think he's cute. Let's take a look at him. Ah, he's funny looking. What does your creature look like? What special features are you gonna give it? Now, let's work on the body. The body looks a little plain. What does my creature need? He needs a tail. Now, of course, you don't have to give your creature a tail because this is make-believe but I'm gonna make a nice fluffy tail. I happen to have some tissue paper here. And I like to collect this from presents that I get. So I am going to take my pink tissue paper and fold it. And then I'm gonna cut out a little piece, see? And I'm going to cut strips in here but I'm gonna stop before I get to the end so I don't cut all the way through. Do you see the way I cut the strips? See, I have my strips 
and I didn't cut all the way through. Now I'm going to fluff it up and squish it together on the end and I have a nice fluffy tail. And I'm going to put that right back here with some tape. You might have something else at home that you want to use to make your tail out of. You don't have to do it exactly like me. Hmm, I think he looks kind of cute. Let's get creative. Let's put some details on. Do you see his legs? What do you think you can put on your animal's legs? What do animals have at the bottom of their legs sometimes? Hmm, he might have a hoof. He might have some claws. He might have a foot or a paw. I think I'm gonna make some claws. And I am going to make them triangles. And I'm gonna take my paper and fold it in half. And then I'm gonna cut like that. So I get two claws, two little triangles, you see? And then you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fold a little tab there and another little tab there and put glue right there and give him some claws on his legs. Watch. See, I'm gonna make this one stick out just like that. And fold it so it kind of pops out. And I'm gonna put the glue on this one. And put it like that. See, so now it looks like he's got little claws, little nails over there so he can dig. So I put a claw on each of his feet. What did you put on your animal's legs? Now, before you finish your creature, I want you to add what's called the finishing touches. So let me take a look at the face. What could I put on the face that would make it even more interesting? Can you think of something you can add to your creature's face that would give it that extra, I call it extra pizzazz, extra excitement? Hmm, how about a tongue? And I am going to make a tongue that sticks out using an accordion fold. So I'm gonna make a strip. See my strip? And then I'm gonna fold it like this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, like that, see? And now I'm gonna cut the end, so it's a little pointy, and then I'm just gonna put glue on this part right here so the rest of it can hang from his mouth and he has a funny looking tongue. Hmm. Oh, this is a silly looking creature, boys and girls. What did you put on yours for extra excitement? I love to use my imagination. Do you? After you make your creature, see if you can think about what is your creature called? I'm gonna take a look at mine. Hmm, I call this creature Boxy. And now I'm gonna make up a story about my creature. Think about it. Where does your creature live? What does your creature eat? Is he or she friendly or mean or frightened? Make up a story. So here I go. Hi, Boxy. How are you today? Are you hungry? What's that? Hmm, you're hungry. What do you like to eat, Boxy? Oh, Boxy said, guess what? He likes to eat recycled boxes. That makes sense. I think I have a few in my kitchen. I think I have a cereal box I could feed you. Would that be good? Oh, you're looking forward to that, huh? Good. Boxy, you look a, a little funny. Why do you have three eyes? Oh, you have three eyes so you can look all around and find stuff that you can recycle? 
Why do you like to recycle so much, Boxy? Oh, Boxy says he likes to recycle because it keeps the planet clean. This way, when we reuse things, we're not just throwing them out and creating more trash, and we keep the earth clean and beautiful. That's the way it was meant to be. Boys and girls, I want you to have fun finding stuff around your home and see if you can make a creature out of recycled junk. Have fun, everybody. Enjoy your project. Now, I'm going to show you how you can build an animal out of recycled cardboard and other stuff without even using glue. Yes, that's right. We're going to build with no glue, no tape, no nails. Watch. Boys and girls, this part, you will probably need an adult to help you get started. So you're going to need corrugated cardboard, and I want you to cut it into shapes like this. One long shape for the body, and corrugated cardboard is cardboard that has these little flutes on the edge. Usually when you get something delivered, it comes in a corrugated cardboard box. So flatten it out, and then cut a rectangle for the body, and then you can cut another rectangle, and then cut it in half, so you have two squares that are about the same size. They don't have to be perfect. And then you're gonna cut one more shape for the head. And let me show you how you can attach these cardboard pieces with no glue. This is the body. And I'm gonna take my scissor and cut a slip that's about one and a half inches. And then, this is gonna be the legs. I'm gonna cut one slip that's about one and a half inches. See? Do you know what I'm gonna do next? You probably do. I am going to take the two pieces and put the two slots together and guess what, boys and girls? It stays together. And I'm gonna do the same back here. And now I have a stand for my animal. And those are his legs, or her legs. Now for the head, I'm going to cut a slit on the other side. And I am going to Cut a slit in the middle, and you know what I'm gonna do? We are going to attach it like that. So I have legs and a head, and my creature stands. Now this part is really fun. We can decorate this creature with all sorts of items, and we don't even have to use glue. So you know I like to recycle, and you know I like to collect stuff for art. So in this basket, I have my beads and pipe cleaners and ribbon and straws, all sorts of stuff. So watch how we can take a pipe cleaner and attach it without glue. First thing, just for fun, I'm going to wrap this around and bend it. And how can I get this pipe cleaner onto this creature with no glue? All along the edge, there are tiny little openings. And I am going to poke my pipe cleaner into, that's called a cardboard flute, and look how I attach it with no glue. Now to get a little fancy, I might want to add something to the pipe cleaner. What do you think I can add that's in my basket? Hmm, how about beads? That would be fun. And I find this to be kind of relaxing when I'm putting beads on my pipe cleaners. You can put as many as you want. If you don't have beads or you don't have a pipe cleaner, see if you could find something else that you could stick into the cardboard flutes. Now for the head. Now I am going to find where the cardboard flutes are on the head. And I'm going to stick my pipe cleaners in there to make ears. So I'm going to bend that and put that in there just like that and he's got a cute little ear. I happen to have another pipe cleaner the same size. 
So I'm gonna do the same over here. Okay. And for the face, I might need a little glue for that part. So I'm gonna look through my basket and I do have these cotton balls. You might have cotton balls at home too. Maybe those will make cute little eyes. So for this part, I'm gonna use a little bit of glue. You can use anything for the eyes. You can use buttons or paper. If you use buttons, you might need a special glue like hot glue. If you're using paper, you can use a regular glue stick. Plastic items, you need a special glue. So there's the eyes. And of course he needs a nose. So I will make a little pink heart-shaped nose out of my scraps. See, all of these things are things that I'm recycling. Let's see, there's my heart. I'm gonna put it upside down to make the nose. So he has a heart-shaped nose, ears and an eyes. And now, boys and girls, just for fun, all along here, you can see how many different ways can you join things. So watch this. I can take a straw and bend it. I can put it into a pipe cleaner. And now my creature has a special feature where he could spray people with his straw that spins around. Hmm. I have a feather over here that I just found. So this, I can twist the pipe cleaner around the feather and maybe, what could I do with that? Hmm, maybe I could put it right here on his head. See, and now he's got a feather, a little feather coming out of his ear. Kind of cute, huh? Okay, and I want you to keep going and see how many ways can you figure out to join things without using glue. Here I have some cray paper and I can tie that on like this. Hmm? And maybe I'll put that over here as a little decoration. That looks kind of cute. And here I have some yarn. How could I get the yarn on without using glue? Hmm, maybe I could wrap it around this way and tie it so I have a little leash for my creature so she doesn't get away. And I'm gonna tie that like that. So there's my creature. And what's your name? Aw, your name is Cotton Ball. I like you, Cotton Ball. You're kind of cute. Have fun, boys and girls. See if you can build your creature without using glue. Bye.